Albert Costa is one of the most interesting racing drivers out there. His outlook and mentality on racing is absolutely unbelievable. Growing up, he had the beating of Marcus Ericsson in the karting formula, Marcus Ericsson now leading IndyCar. And Albert Costa himself, the Spa 6 Hours here, he put his inter-Europol competition LMP2 on the podium with an outlook and a mentality like this. We talk about all things sim racing, let's get into it. I'm here with Albert Costa, driver for Europol, who's come off some amazing results this season. Fourth place at Sebring, very good qualifying at Portsmouth. What is possible for you at Spa this weekend? Everything. Everything. To be honest, I am really motivated because I'm... You know, it's like when you play a game, you are blocking some levels. Yeah. And on the first race, I was really nervous because I was not in the same pace as the top guys and I wanted to be in the top. Yeah. But in the race, suddenly, the team gave me a really good car and boom, I was fast. Yeah. Second race, P4 in qualifying, the race was mega also. But unfortunately, we were bad in the strategy because we were not lucky. And now here is like, I wanted to drive on the wet. Yeah. Today it was my first time, so I was really happy. And I'm really focused on the on my race pace. Yesterday yeah. we did a really fantastic job, yeah. all the through. And I am really confident, to be honest. I don't know what's going to happen. Also, the weather may, may play something uh, big tomorrow. But uh, well, I feel the power. Hyped. I'm feeling hyped. You must be really, really excited. You mentioned gaming there. Do you do any sort of sim racing or game? A lot, okay. I love tell, it. Tell, tell us more. Okay. <laughs> I am really... I really, lo I really like to play games, uh, all the games like Grand Theft Auto and all these games. <laughs> but I start to play simulator. I play a lot in the simulator at home with um, iRacing, racing, Air Factor, oh, nice. Automobilismo uh, Two. Two. Uh, send me more. ACC. Uh, I see, but not so much because they didn't train me so good. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, really, yeah. really? I, I tried to tell them yeah. I'm going to share my own boards and my telemetry, and they say, no, no, try to learn to, to, okay. well, to drive. Well, anyway, I do a lot of games, but yeah. I love to play like Clio Cup, uh, Formula Ooh. B, 1600. Like I like to, to be online with the people yeah. and I learn a lot. That's awesome. Do you have any tips for anyone watching from a professional LMP2 driver? Any tips people can do at home on the little wheel or controller to, to, to have more fun or drive faster? How much you pay for this? Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. No, but um, for me, I was not big fan, but now I can tell you that if you want to improve your skills, buy a good brakes because now I have a really good brakes. Yeah. Oh, it's another world. Okay. I mean, I am much quicker. Easy. Okay. Easy. Awesome. Well, you heard it first. Get those load cell brakes and you're going to get faster. And well, I'm here today with GT Manager. They're a mobile racing strategy game. And every driver they have in the game has four attributes. You know, like FIFA, you have these attributes, like levels. So they have like different categories. Okay. So the categories are velocity, overtaking, defending, and tire management. For you, which do you think is your best category as a driver? Well, in GTs, I was really good doing the start. Like, I can overtake 10 cars in one corner. Okay. It's, I know how to manage. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm coming from motorbikes. Yeah. I was also good tire management. But now in LMP2 is different because for me, I am in a position now that I'm learning. So I'm, I am, I'm, a, I'm a rookie again, yeah. 32 years old. And I, I have a lot to learn. So I'm very humble with everything what I'm doing because I listen a lot and I'm trying to put my best skills in the, in the car while driving but now seeing on the times i am good doing tire management okay, okay. i am good okay <laughs> i have to tell you because my my lap times are always consistent and then every time i finish the second scene i am like wow if i i can alert this yeah. thing maybe five laps for sure yeah. keeping the same time yeah but i think the base of this is the is the is the attitude Okay. How I'm working. Yeah. This is giving me this extra, no? Are you always um, careful about the car and the load? I'm and careful, but uh, I'm I'm also uh, my feeling is like I'm attacking because <laughs> I like to be aggressive. Yeah. But somehow I don't know why. Yeah. I, I would like to tell you why, <laughs> but I don't know why I can manage the tire. Yeah. But that's awesome to hear, a tyre management guru. Is I know it? in sim racing or real-world racing, it's always about keeping the tyres in the optimal condition. So you seem massively hyped. I can't wait to see what you're going to do. Albert Costa, just an awesome guy. And best of luck for the race at Spa Thank 6 you. Hours. Thank you. It was, uh, was my pleasure. Thank yeah. you for your words. And hopefully tomorrow we can do a nice interview after some good uh, champagne. When smell. you get the champagne, yeah, all I the hope. champagnes. I hope. Nice. That's awesome, man. Thank do you, you drive an eye racing on the um, LMP2? A lot. Nice. A lot. I do a lot uh, on private. Yeah. 
because unfortunately I don't have the license to go really with this race. Yeah. I am rookie in yeah. racing, but I'm coming and coming. I do yeah. a lot of races now, and yeah. I think my plan for next week is to buy the the Clio, the new Clio, to, yeah. to do more uh, yeah. races and increase my level. Yeah. And I do a lot of Air Factor because in the team we work a lot in Air Factor oh, too. Actual sim. Yeah. Uh, no. So we have a private software that I put there and awesome, like awesome. It. it's amazing. And this year I made a really good upgrade with the new uh, brakes. Which which are company? Uh, it's R S R P. S R P. Okay. Yeah, it's from Spain. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. Actually, uh, with Mark Verstappen, he saw my brakes on the Eastern Amistad and he was like, Me, where are they from? SRP. Yeah, nice. No, okay. Then. Let's try them out. I'm happy with what I have, but looks good. I say, yeah. No, no, it's not good. It's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And to be honest, for me, the key point is I'm combining now to race GT and LMP2 this year. Yeah. So I have a different page on the on the on the software yeah. of the brakes. Yeah. And I can choose. Okay, today I drive Ferrari, today I drive LMP2. Yeah. So the I can adapt yeah. the brake yeah. exactly how it is with yeah. ABS, without and yeah. without ABS. Yeah. And the same feeling and same power as LMP2. Yeah. And for me as a rookie on this yeah. car, this is amazing because I do laps and I adapt my style. I also use data. Yeah. You say, it's, hey. you say it's realistic, is it realistic compared to the real car? You cannot imagine. You can't, it's These guys made a fantastic software. Okay. And I cannot you, tell you more because they're going to kill yeah. me, but I do a lot of work and this is helping me a lot to, to go closer to them. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first. I mean, sim racing is now that realistic that it can be a really, a really good aid. So thank you so much, Albert. It's been awesome. Thanks, mate. I wish you the best of luck and we'll try and see you after thank the you. Europol. See you tomorrow for sure. Awesome. <laughs>